The UFC, the undisputed king of mixed martial arts, has a long history of letting go of talented fighters for various reasons, some more justified than others. Welcome back to the channel and buckle up for a deep dive into the octagon. Today, we're exploring the controversial world of UFC fighter bans. So Anderson Silva had a pre-fight test and it was done by the sports medicine and research testing. This countdown delves into 10 of the most notorious UFC fighter bans, ranking them based on the severity of the transgression and the overall impact on the sport. We'll dissect the details, analyze the fallout, and explore the broader conversation these incidents sparked within the MMA community. So grab your popcorn, because we're about to delve into some of the wildest moments in UFC history. Moments that left fans questioning, debating, and sometimes just plain shocked. Number 10, Brock Lesnar, two doping violations. We begin with a titan, a box office juggernaut, Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate. Lesnar's imposing physical presence and dominant fighting style captivated audiences. He stormed into the UFC after a successful professional wrestling career and immediately established himself as a force to be reckoned with. His fights were guaranteed fireworks, with thunderous takedowns and brutal ground and pound finishes. However, Lesnar's legacy is undeniably tarnished by multiple doping violations. The first dark cloud appeared in 2009 after his fight against Heath Herring. A positive test for banned substances resulted in a temporary suspension. While Lesnar served his time and returned quickly, the incident cast a shadow over his victory. Then in 2011, after his brutal defeat of Shane Carwin, another positive test for a banned substance emerged. This time, the consequences were more severe. Lesnar received a one-year ban. The UFC, heavily reliant on Lesnar's star power to draw in pay-per-view buys, lifted the ban relatively quickly. Number nine, Tito Ortiz domestic violence. Tito Ortiz, a former UFC light heavyweight champion, was once a fan favorite. His relentless pressure fighting style and fierce competitive spirit made him a must watch inside the octagon. Outside the octagon, however, Ortiz's image took a sharp turn for the worse. In 2017, Ortiz was arrested for domestic violence. You're getting arrested, Ortiz? No. The details were disturbing painting a picture of a violent act that had no place in civilized society. The UFC, rightfully so, took a strong stance against this heinous crime. Ortiz's release sent a clear message that the organization would not tolerate domestic violence from its fighters, regardless of their past accomplishments. This incident sparked a broader conversation about the responsibility of professional athletes to conduct themselves with honor and respect not just inside the octagon, but also in their personal lives. Number eight, Kimbo Slice, illegal street fights. Kimbo Slice was a phenomenon, a backyard brawl king turned internet sensation. He captured the imagination of fight fans with his ferocious knockout power and intimidating presence. Slice's path to the UFC was unconventional. He rose to fame through viral videos, showcasing his bare knuckle brawls on the streets. These fights, while undeniably exciting for some, violated all the regulations and safety protocols established in the world of professional MMA. The UFC, always looking to capitalize on excitement, took a chance on Slice. However, questions lingered about his commitment to the more structured, rules-based environment of the UFC. Slice's career in the octagon was short-lived, and his past as a street fighter remained a constant source of controversy. Number seven. John Jones, multiple offenses. John Jones, a fighter with immense talent, has also had a troubled relationship with the UFC. His list of offenses includes failed drug tests, DUIs, and battery charges. Each incident resulted in suspensions and stripped titles. Despite his undeniable talent, Jones's actions repeatedly forced the UFC to take action. It's a tragic waste of potential, leaving fans wondering what could have been if Jones had stayed out of trouble. Number six, War Machine, domestic violence. War Machine, known for his aggressive fighting style, was released from the UFC after a brutal 2014 assault on his girlfriend. The crime was horrific and the UFC swiftly cut ties with him. War Machine's case is a stark reminder of the dark side of MMA. 
Fighters are trained to be effective combatants, but that training should never translate to violence outside the octagon. Number five, Greg Hardy, domestic violence. Greg Hardy, a former NFL player, was brought into the UFC despite a checkered past that included a domestic violence conviction. This decision was widely criticized and rightfully so. The UFC eventually released Hardy after a series of negative incidents. His case highlights the importance of the UFC taking a strong stance against domestic violence offenders. Number four, Colby Covington, doping violation and political statements. Colby Covington, a polarizing figure known for his outspoken persona, was suspended for a doping violation in 2019. While the suspension itself wasn't egregious, it added to Covington's reputation for controversy. Covington has also courted controversy with his controversial political statements. The UFC has attempted to distance itself from these comments, but they've undeniably tarnished the image of the sport. Number three, BJ Penn, doping violations and legal issues. BJ Penn, a UFC legend and former champion, has seen his legacy tarnished by multiple doping violations and legal troubles. Penn's later fights were a shell of his former self, and the positive tests cast a shadow over his accomplishments. Legal issues outside the octagon further damaged Penn's reputation. It's a sad end for a once great fighter. Number two, Anderson Silva, doping violations. Anderson Silva, the iconic spider, is considered one of the greatest fighters of all time. However, his legacy is tainted by multiple failed drug tests later in his career. These violations tarnished his image and left fans questioning some of his past victories. Silva's case highlights the complex issue of performance-enhancing drugs in MMA. While Silva maintains his innocence, the failed tests remain a stain on his otherwise remarkable career. Number one, Cain Velasquez, felony charge. Cain Velasquez, a former UFC heavyweight champion, holds the unfortunate distinction of topping this list. In 2019, Velasquez was arrested for a felony charge related to a shooting incident. The severity of the charge and the potential danger to the public left the UFC with no choice but to terminate his contract. Velasquez's case is a tragic reminder that fighters are human beings capable of making terrible decisions. There you have it, folks, our top 10 list of UFC fighter bans. These cases highlight the various reasons fighters can be removed from the organization, from performance-enhancing drugs to violent crimes. The UFC has a responsibility to its fans and fighters to uphold a certain standard of conduct. While these bans are sometimes unfortunate, they send a clear message about what kind of behavior will not be tolerated. As always, thanks for joining us. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on this list and let us know which fighter band surprised you the most. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more UFC content. Until next time, stay safe and keep fighting clean.